welcome to vs channel today i am going to explain real time clock so the real time clock is present in microcontrollers or in digital system design so which is uh, present in advanced uh, msc430 family microcontrollers so which comes under timers family the timers is used for the purpose of uh, providing time interval and measuring of time for a particular operation whereas real time clock is little different when we compare to the normal timers the real time clock is measures the time in terms of uh, seconds minutes hours days weeks months years but normal timers which can measure the time in terms of seconds or in terms of minutes so here this particular real time clock can take 1 megahertz of a, a frequency that's from the basic timer so here the real time clock is having the interrupter capability so because of that we have a chance to provide a programming alarms based on the date and based on the month that means if i set a timer or a reminder on a particular day like uh, wednesday uh, in the evening 6 pm so it gives a reminder on the particular time that is a programmable alarm and here we have a chance to use this real time clock in two varieties the one is which can operates in calendar mode the other is which can operates in normal counter mode so here if it is operates in calendar mode where the time is measures in terms of seconds minutes days weeks months and years and that particular information is displayed in the real time clock either it is bcd form otherwise in binary form so the user have a facility uh, to select uh, the display time in bcd form or in binary form when we come into this as a normal general purpose counter mode where the real time clock is having four 8 bit registers the four 8 bit registers are cascaded and form 32 bit register using this 32 bit register we can count the at time so here when we come into this uh, normal counter model so if you want to use the real time clock in normal counter model where the rtc mode in the real time control register we have rtc mode bit if you are giving zero as data in the particular bit we have a chance to use this real time clock in general purpose counter model where it can count the time so here for counting of time any timer or clock can take one reference clock based on that it can count so here this particular real time clock can having a four clocks as a clock source among the four one is selected and perform the operation based on the particular selected clock so here the one the clock one is auxiliary clock which is provides 32 kilohertz of frequency and uh, the second clock is sm clock that is sub system master clock which can provides the frequency in terms of megahertz and other two clocks are the external clocks so according to the need or according to the uh, situation and according to the function we can select the the external clocks are rto rt0 ps rt1 ps so here whatever the clock we are using based on that it can perform the function sometimes function to function the providing time is going to change that means to get the particular time again here we are using the dividers dividers we can use 
the dividers can divide this particular frequency in eight factors eight different factors that means suppose if i take see here if i take uh, 256 256 uh, seconds as a clock and then that is divided with a 2 that is divided with a 4 that is divided with a 8 that is divided with a 16 32 64 128 256 based on the user requirement so we can select one of the divider and with that we can divide the particular time to get exact time that required for the function right and when we come to the calendar mode in calendar mode if you want to operate the real time clock in calendar mode you can need to set the real time mode bit rtc mode bit if by giving zero then this is operates as a calendar mode where it provides the time in terms of seconds minutes days day of week months month of week year and we have normal year and leap year so here we can write some algorithm to find which is a leap year and which is a non-leap year we know a leap year means the number that is divided with a 4 is a leap year and it is not divided with a 4 that is normal year so like this we can write the algorithm the algorithm also implemented in real time clock then the real time clock is having two control registers the two control registers control the operations the one register is control the interrupts the other register is control the operations so here the real time clock control register 0 can control the interrupts the real time clock control register 1 is control the function of real time clock here first we can see the operation of real time clock control register 0 so here first we can go the function from the 7th bit to 0 bit bit the 7th bit is a reserved for the future purpose that means here in this version we are not using this particular bit in future in advanced processor if it is needed this particular bit is used for the purpose of the future one and coming to the 6th bit the 6th bit is RTC TE PIE that is a real time clock time event interrupt enable so this particular interrupt is enables by giving zero it is not enabled by giving one which is enables this particular interrupt is enables by giving one and coming to this a fifth bit that is rtc aie that is real time clock alarm interrupt enable so this particular alarm interrupt is enables disables by using this particular bit by giving zero this particular alarm interrupt is disables it is not enables by giving one this particular alarm interrupt is enables and bit number four that is rtc rd yie that is a real time a clock alarm interrupt enable for safe read Right. this particular bit is disables by giving zero this particular interrupt is enables by giving one and coming to the bit number three that is reserved for the feature operation which is always zero so what are the bits are reserved for the feature operation that bits always zero why because that does not provide any function that's why we are keeping as a zero and coming to that uh, bit number two that is rtc tev ifg that is real time clock or time event flag so every interrupt is having a specific flag right so here if this flag is become zero means the time event is occurs no time event is occurs if it is one the time event is occurs so this particular flag is provided whether event is occurred or not here always if it is zero the event is not occurred if it is one the event is occurs and coming to bit number one that is rtc aif that is real time clock alarm flag if it is zero no time event is occurs if it is one the time event is occurs right and the last one that is rtc rdy if zero that means 
So here, this particular flag is provides the information about the real time clock alarm flag, but which is provides the information about whether the particular alarm time information is safe to read or not. That means while it is transitioning from one state to another state, we didn't have a chance to read safely or correctly. And if it is there in the safe, stable situation, then that particular value is read to safe. That means if it is zero means the RTC cannot be read safe. That means that state is in transition mode. That's why there is no particular value. Suppose if you are moving from state 1 to state 2, we are in transition position, we didn't have a chance to say whether state 1 or state 2. That is called not safe mode, not safe to read. If we are completed the transition means we are either we, we are either in state 1 or state 2. Then if you ask if, which state it is, it is 1 or 2. So the state is a stable or the count value of the real time clock is in stable situation that is safe to read. So that provide that information is provided by this particular bit. Then come into this real time clock control register one, which is also eight bit register. We can see this function from seven to zero. Then observe here. So always we are represent that is R W of zero. That means when the power is reset, power on reset, this particular bit slot becomes zero. That means whenever we are going to uh, turn off your real time clock and again whenever we are going to turn on then this control registers information you need to means becomes clear and becomes zero for that reason here we are mentioned that is rw is zero that is power on reset value is always zero then coming to Bit number 7. Bit number 7 is the RTC BCD. That means the real time clock binary coded decimal. If this bit is 0, the time or the value that represented by the real time clock is in binary format or XO format. If this bit is 1 means whatever the value that is provided by the real time clock that is in binary coded decimal form. So, we use this particular bit in a calendar mode only. If it is counter mode, we are ignored this particular bit. And coming to bit number 6, that is RTC hold, HOLD hold. That means this particular bit is used for stop the operation. If this bit is 0, whether the real time clock is operates in real time calendar mode or in counter mode, which is perform the operation. If it is 1 means we have a chance to stop the operation in real time clock mode only. We don't have a chance to stop the operation in counter mode. Right. And coming to this uh, fifth bit that is RTC mode. So we, earlier we discussed that the real time clock is having two modes that is a calendar mode and normal counter mode. So that one bit is required here that is fifth bit. If it bit is 0 means we use this real time clock as a normal that is general purpose counter mode where the size of counter is 32 bit if this bit is one means we use this in calendar mode so here we need to remember one point while we are moving that is while we are transferring or switching from a normal counter mode to calendar mode all the timing all the real time clock registers are become zero that is well a reset right so according to the particular function now the user can set the particular values then coming to bit number four that is rtc or divide this particular bit is represents whether the rtc is ready for safe read or not if this bit is zero then rtc time value is in transition that means which is not safe to read we don't have a chance to read the particular value in correct manner. That's why we need to wait. If it, this particular bit is 1 means the RTC time value is safe to read. That means it is in a stable situation we can read. And bit number 3 and 2. Here 3 is MSB, 2 is LSB. This can provide the information about 
which clock we are going to select as a source as a reference right so it is having four clocks if it is zero zero that is auxiliary clock if it is zero one that is sm clock if it is one zero that is rt zero ps so this we can use in calendar mode only so where if it is calendar mode there we can give that particular edges that is divided into different dividers we have eight dividers with the using of eight dividers we can divide the particular frequency to get whatever the frequency that required for your operation and come into 1 1 this is output of output from rt1 ps in this mode we are giving the frequency that is 128 128 hz of frequency so if i require less than this frequency then we use the dividers to divide and to get exact frequency what we required for the function and come into the bit number 1 and 0 that we use for the uh, to for control the operation in a different modes and that is rtc tgv that is real time clock time at enable vector so here in counter mode if it is 0 0 means 8 bit overflow 0 1 means 6 bit overflow 1 0 means 24 bit overflow and 1 1 is 32 bit overflow earlier we discussed that in general mode using four different register four 8 bit registers the four 8 bit registers are cascading and form 32 bit register for the purpose of general counting so that the counter is counts using 8 bit overflow using system bit overflow using 24 bit overflow and using 32 bit overflow if it is in calendar mode if it is 0 0 means minute change that means the time is changed for every minute if it is 0 1 that means our change the time is the timer information is going to change for every year if it is 1 0 so the time is changed in a day ways that means every day the time is changed at the mid at the midnight that is at 0 0 0 and if it is 1 1 means the time the day will change at a noon time that is time is 12 0 0 so this is the operation of real time clock we use the real time clock whenever we need to provide the time in realistic manner in a calendar mode manner and whenever we need to come uh, control the function in real time in calendar model that means in general in our colleges or in our offices we can see the sundays are holidays so in sunday we don't want to give the ring that is bell or siren in normal working days that is monday to saturday we need to give the siren for according to the schedule so where we use the real time clock that means where the function of the siren or alarm will change based on the day if it is sunday it does not give the ring or siren if it is working days it can provide the ring or siren so like this we can use the real time clock so this is very very important when we go for controlling of the function using the microcontrollers or using the advanced msc 430 processors if you like this lecture please like this particular video and share this video for your friends and subscribe my channel that is vs channel and click for click bell icon for future videos it will give the intimation to you and it will give the reminder and notification also thank you for watching this particular